Hey everybody, before we get into today's video, which is a pretty important one, I want to talk to you about what is important to me, which is every year we try to work with multiple charities, multiple nonprofits to help those in need. And this one, we're repping Operation Combat Boot right now. So if you haven't ever heard of OCB, what they do is they are a nonprofit out of Utah that works with and helps military veterans. And whether you're a U.S. citizen or abroad, honestly, no matter what political spectrum you're on, I think we can almost all agree, right, that our veterans need as much help as possible. That's exactly what they're doing, focusing on helping with mental health and physical health. They provide free gym memberships. They provide a physical assessment. They provide mental health help to those who need it. And our veterans are definitely people who can use all the help they can get post-deployment. So if if you want to help them out one thing you can do is head up to their website they have a donation link which is right here through venmo i will have a link to that in the description below we do try to help out all that we can and again if you want to help out some veterans here in the u.s please check out operation combat boots uh, they're not paying me to say this i think it's a really good cause and i think that you should check it out if nothing else go give it a look for yourself i think it's always important to you know check into these 501c3s are they really doing great work i can say these are so let's run to the video the intro music yeah Woo so one thing i think that's affecting the game a lot right now is what i call armada fatigue and look i think that there's some amazing additions to the game i think that armadas as a whole are a net positive in the game i truly do in fact you see me running multiple armadas right now with my alliance like i i planned it so that you have these in the background while we're going to discuss this today but even though I'm a big fan of Armadas, and I think that you have a lot of things in here that are important. You see, I'm running three right now. At the same time, we have really become inundated with the Armada concept, which is a little ironic. I thought about pulling up an old picture because back in the day, there the meme was that coming soon, like Armadas were coming soon for like over a year. And then we finally got them. And now we're looking at it, you know, years later, we're in 2023 now where we're, believe it or not, and like, depending on how you want to count them, 15 different Armada types in the game. Yes, there are that many. Need proof? Transition. Look at this right here. Now, I put this together. We were talking about it in my Discord. And I was really having a, a good in-depth conversation with my mods. But also, this is something that we're talking about in the Voyager feedback channels and stuff. And look, I think that even some of the newer stuff coming out has been really good. But let's take a look at it. You have the FKR Armadas, the Classics, Federation, Klingon, and Romulan. Now, Number one on my list, and then also number 13 could technically be counted as the same one because I listed number 13 uh, uniquely because they're low-level independent system armadas. But we got Federation Klingon Ramen. We got Swarm. We got Eclipse, which I actually am running Eclipse armadas right now in the background as well. Yay, Eclipse armadas. We've got Doomsday. <laughs> Those are terrible. We hate them, but they only really happy for events now. Cardassian armadas, which are relatively new. Formation Armadas, which just came out. And yes, I like them, but still, fatigue. We've got Dominion Solo Armadas. we got Borg Mega Cubes, which even though are kind of outdated, they do still run events for those for lower level players that can't do Borg Solos yet. we got regular Borg Cubes. We've got Borg Expansion Cubes. Those were a fail. Those are yuck, yuck. We got Borg Solos. we got the Independence I talked about. we got Territory. We've got Starbase Assaults, which yes, are just a final version of PvP Armada, but not only are they a final version of PvP Armada, they did their absolute best to make it the literal worst concept in, in the game. Easily the worst mechanic released in the past year. So you have all these different types out, and yes, I feel like Armadas are important. And let's go over the good before we go over the bad. For example, let's bring up our Bajoran faction. This is a relatively new thing that was built around our Borg Solos. The favor system in this is absolutely phenomenal. Even if you're starting at level 35, where you can only do the uncommons, as you're ranking up through this, you're getting access to some really, really nice upgrades that improve your game. And solo armadas in particular are really for like the 40 plus is where you find the best value in them. It's the easiest way to kind of start getting through them. And what you're gonna notice is you got like the Bajoran Crystal Refinery, the Gas Refinery, the Ore Refinery, which for even at tier one is good, but you've seen I've got mine at tier two. It's a hundred percent bonus to the base refinery payouts of G4 and G5. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that's valuable. But again, this is stuff that, you know, is built into Armadas and I'm okay with Armada loops, but the issue is we have so many. And then we have events like today. 
Now, I'm making this video on May 16th. So we have a video right now called Alpha or Attack Pattern Alpha Omega, which is an SMS plus an SLB based around doing damage to Armadas, which is fine. Do damage to Armadas, grind it out. But the problem is there's so many Armadas to the point of what do you have time to do? Like how much can you actually go out and do in these? I mean, do you have time to do every Armada available? And I have no issue with Armadas. I mean, heck, on server 20, we constantly have to fight in wars with our Armadas. Like it's something that we have to watch out for. And honestly, let me give a quick shout out. Shout out to Epic, who will push us. And at times, I've got to deal with Epic sniping me on Armada. I don't care. It's part of the game. But the issue is, we're at a point where there's so many Armadas. We're running so much. We're, we're doing all this to collect various Armadas where sourcing them gets confusing and difficult. Like, for example, Milestone 4 is where we get, you know, regular Armada directives and our new formation ones. But we've also got our assault ones randomly in this milestone, even though they're terrible. I don't run them. We don't care about them, but they still exist. And then we've got, come into here, we've got our rare sourcing and our epic sourcing in these. And, you know, this is just for this style. You've got to go into your, this is a little bit confusing. Again, this is where I think the fatigue comes in. You got to go into your Borg refinery to get Borg solos. Uh, okay, Borg refiner for Borg solos. I guess that makes sense, but... Solo Armadas, you got to go back to your Bajoran faction tab. Completely different tab, completely different area to go get Bajoran dailies. And this isn't counting the fact that you have got the Swarm daily, or not the Swarm daily, the, technically, yeah, you do have a Swarm daily that you can complete by doing these Swarm Armadas, but you've also got, now you've got like a currency fatigue. Like, well, I have to remember what currency each Armada takes. Swarm Armadas take rare Armada directives. That's a painful thing. These are expensive. Like you, you're limited in the rares you get, but that's what they cost rares. You've got the territory armadas way down here, which did I list territory armadas in our list? I remember, yeah, we did. We did. I think it was like number 14 or something, but you come in here, there are territory armadas, which give isogen, even though it's not a high amount. Also using another currency that we already have. And then you'll have these dead armadas that get made that are known to be so bad in general you can completely wipe from the game, but yet they're still sitting here and occasionally will get used for scoring because even though Scopely has made some efforts to update old content, they don't get rid of bad content, which I dislike. And if something's bad, we'll just move on from Like, if we're not really focusing on these anymore, then why are they sitting here? And I still have a unique currency for Borgmatas, even though we don't really do these anymore. And there's a unique currency for the mega cube which technically does still kind of happen but i think the the biggest thing is look i'm here for more content i want star trek fleet command to continue to make good content and i think that you've had some good content in the past six months the past year i really do i think but jordan as a whole is good but the issue is the fatigue sets in because we're not graduating from these like when i say we're still doing regular armadas like deep space fkr the original type of armadas that came out in 2000 what 20 there's still a primary armada that we do daily like this is i get that we have new content and if you zoom out you've got content all over the place but like swarm modas borg modas you know and i'm glad that we have new content coming out but at the same time there's so much of the same thing just being done and done and this isn't the same as power creep but it's the same problem like i talk about power creep is such a tremendous issue in the game and Thankfully, so many people are also catching on this and understanding and reiterating, and I'm hoping it catches on over at Star Trek Fleet Command. But the big thing is, the fatigue is when you have so many options, you lose interest because it's just too much. Like, I, we're finding that out right now with the Formation Armadas. Truly, the Formation Armadas, in my opinion, is a fantastic mechanic. Why? Let me explain why I think Formation Armadas are wonderful. One, it's a new style of Armada. You actually have to build a group, but it doesn't have the flaw of expansion cubes where you have to go do this Armada before doing this Armada, which is a terrible idea. And players proved it was a terrible idea because they don't do them. But this was, I think, good. It's a, basically a regular Armada with a little bit more difficulty. And then you have these, which are basically just researches, but it's RNG-based. It's, it's collection. And I love that it's built around lore. Like, this is fantastic. Look at the level of like, we actually study Star Trek to make things in a Star Trek game. I appreciate this so much as a nerd, but 
it gets hard to really think about these because we have so many other things to do and that's where the fatigue sets in. So when this new content comes out, it needs to be overriding or doing away with old content. And it's almost like they tried to do that, but didn't do it well enough. An example would be the Cardassian Armadas, right? Like the Cardassian Armadas pay out your regular winnings. You're getting epics and stuff plus the Cardassian stuff. But because even with the max research, which I've maxed my research, even with that, I'm not getting more credits to run these usually if you've done all your research compared to doing a deep space armada way out in the boonies. So yeah, it's cool, but what do we end up doing the most? Deep space armadas coming back to the classics with eclipse armadas. And that means new content that comes out, even if it's good, can get forgotten about. You know, it's you don't see formation armadas being run right now even though they just released. And I don't think they're bad. I think this is something that Scopely really has to wrap their head around. You've got to come up with something new. Even if what you're releasing isn't bad, if it's to the point where we're just tired of having the same mechanic over and over, this is what you're gonna have. The top alliance on server 20. I'm just using this as a visual example. And if I am wrong, please let me know I'm wrong in the comments. If you think that Rev is just stupid, say so. There's a reason the top alliance in the game in an Armada event is not bothering with formations and we're still doing the ancient Eclipse Armadas. And hell, the Borg solos score really well in this SLB. But the point is, you got too much right now. It's a little bit much. We're tired. We want to do something else. We want to fall back and like try something new. And even if you're making good content, if it's tired content, you're gonna find that a lot of the community just doesn't really want it right now. And again, I'm not trashing on Armadas. I think the new Armadas that have come out have been good with the exception of Assaults, which is absolutely abysmally bad, dumb, never had a chance to be successful because they did not actually fledge out that content. That's their fault. And I'm gonna to continue to rant about it until they actually take the time to make it doable and fixable and nice. Rant over. But non-rant, I truly do think that there is potential for more greatness in this game but you've got to do something new or do away with a lot of the redundant old that's my thought leave your thoughts and opinion below we're gonna have videos going over the new officers really excited about doing the emh video the doctor is really well even if we don't know the sourcing and i'm really excited about Bolana torres if we can tear her up we'll do videos on that as well as other things in the future appreciate y'all let me know what you think we love providing this feedback i think for the most part this month has been good the rewards for events have been very good across brackets we've enjoyed that so hopefully that keeps happening even though we have the worst event ever for battle pass today why are we still killing worms oh. live long and prosper they say for the space cowboys deuces that's me catch the next one remember check out operation combat boots they don't have to pay me i think you really 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 should devote yourself whether it's time or money you should devote yourself to helping out others in need every year very 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 important thing i think for all of us to get a good perspective of where we are and how we can help others be where we want to be so check them out if you haven't appreciate y'all catch you on the next video bye outies deuces an even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house